in the Inland Empire who watched as her uncle died from the virus just two hours after he was hospitalized. As NBC4's Kim Tobin explains, the man started getting sick after going to a party. Good evening, everyone. This Lake Elsinore man, Tommy Macias, went to a party with friends a few weeks ago. Then he got a phone call from one of those friends saying he tested positive for COVID-19 and encouraged everybody at the party to get tested. Just a few days later, Macias died at the hospital. <laughs> Laughing and being goofy is how the family of Tommy Macias says they want to remember him. He was just a fun, loving person. You know, he loved to pick on people. He loved to crack jokes about everything. Danielle Lopez is his niece. Her uncle posted this on Facebook days before his death, saying he contracted the coronavirus after going out, and he worried about putting the rest of his family's health in jeopardy. The 51-year-old attended a party in Lake Elsinore after quarantining for months. It was just one moment for him, you know, because things were coming, becoming so much more lenient, he decided he hadn't seen his friends in so long. He thought things were getting better. He thought it was okay, and he decided to go see them. And just so quickly, he was taken from us. Messias started feeling sick and thought it was issues with his diabetes. But last Sunday, he had breathing trouble and was rushed to the hospital. He was intubated and put on a ventilator and died two hours later. We wish we could have at least been able to tell him how much we loved him and to be able to say goodbye. As coronavirus cases keep going up and many counties make adjustments to the reopening process, Lopez wants everyone to know how devastating this virus can really be. You can't just assume that you're okay. You have to take that extra precaution to prevent, to, to protect everybody around you. I mean, it, it, it just seems like it should be common sense and common courtesy to want to not unknowingly cause this harm onto other people. A family's loss and pain, hoping to serve as a reminder and a warning for others. Kim Tobin, NBC4 News.